I'm Diane Parker. I'm a registered nurse and I am an LNET core and an LNET pediatric faculty. I was previously the executive director of Hands of Hope, which is a pediatric hospice and palliative care organization for the whole state of South Carolina. And I'm also a uh, serving as a consultant for the organization that I started and then I am a nursing faculty at the School of Nursing at USC uh, Upstate. It's always appreciative because the profession is certainly respected but they're curious uh, oh really what where do you work and what do you do so you always uh, have questions about what you do as a nurse. Well, the reactions are, I've seen, uh, probably mixed, uh, especially when you say uh, you're specifically a pediatric hospice and palliative nurse. Um, it's a little bit of a surprise, but again, I think the appreciation is really more emphasized. So once that they know you're a nurse, and then when they know you do something very special like pediatric hospice and palliative care, they're very appreciative. Um, they usually don't ask a lot of questions, but they're just very appreciative for whatever assumption that may be before you even have time to really tell them what that means. That's a great question. Um, you can certainly get a change of expression on someone's face when you first say that you're a pediatric hospice and palliative nurse. But the best way to really put it into perspective is uh, to first um, clarify that it's not sad, it's not um, doom and gloom, uh, but it is a calling. It's not something that you can just take a class in and do. So it's a calling and what we get an opportunity to do is to take care of a child and a family at the most difficult time in their life and really and truly bring um, options to the table, um, hope that um, they don't give up hope, that we bring a different perspective